Hello, everybody. How are you? I am coming back with some Stanley Parable, which I started last week and had an absolute blast with. Hey, Barry! How are you? Good to see you! I, um... Oh, Sergeant Gaming, hello! Hello! Good to see you, too. How, how is everybody doing? Uh, on this, uh, this Tuesday evening. Or, um, Wednesday morning for some of you. Because I know I got some England viewers. <laughs> Oh, you were were you about to go to bed? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came to join me, but if you gotta go to bed, you gotta go to bed. <laughs> you a little tired? Uh, I understand. I'm pretty tired too, I'm, but I got some coffee here, so hopefully that will uh pump me up a little bit, you know? You know? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, good coffee. Um, I don't really think I have any announcements to make. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything. Normally I try to think of like an announcement or something. Oh, it's 1 a.m. there. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's only, oh, okay. So it's not that late for you, but you know, if you haven't gotten a lot of sleep, then you might want to, you might want to try and get some sleep. I'm sorry you haven't been sleeping well. I've been sleeping too much lately. I've been trying to get back on like a schedule. Um, uh, but for a while there, I was going to bed early and waking up early and I hated it because I'm not a morning person. I'm definitely a, like a nighttime person. So I'm trying to adjust my sleep schedule to be more like 12 to 8 kind of thing so I get to stay up a little bit late and then uh, wake up at an early but not super early time because before I was getting up at like 6 and I hated that. It was so it was so lame. I don't like getting up early. It's the worst. <laughs> um, but yeah, if I don't discipline myself, I end up just sleeping for most of the morning and then I get like 13 hours of sleep and it's just too much. It's just too much. <laughs> it's not healthy. Yeah, you're, uh, the body doesn't really like it when you adjust your uh, sleep schedule at all. But, you know, it's for the best, ultimately. So you gotta kind of kick your own ass for that. It's really hot for you? Oh, I'm so sorry. It was, you know how last week it was really hot? It's much better this week. It's nice. Um, so it's not too bad. Uh, but we still have the AC going, because... I love AC. <laughs> but my room doesn't have OC AC and I have to close the door. Um, so I have a fan on me right now. Alright. You've been sleeping most of the mornings? Yeah. Me. Me too. Me too. I have... I have a bit of a problem with that, where I'm just like, if I don't have to wake up, why wake up? Just keep sleeping, why not? <laughs> Alright, I think, let's see, let's switch over to the game. Make sure we unmute that. Um, in the last time, last time we played, we got a couple of the original endings, and then we got some new content. So I'm hoping to get some more new content because I'm excited to see the new content. But let's let's pop in there. This is the. Okay, we already saw that. All right, we gotta find new content. Welcome back, achievement. All of his co-workers oh. were gone. What could it mean? Oh, Stanley that reminds decided me. Decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he simply speaking. missed a memo. Um, when I started up the game, it asked for what the actual time was again. So I put in the real time, and the game thanked me for it. It was like, you know what? Most people just don't even care about this. They just, 
they just hit 12 o'clock and they get going. But thank you for actually taking the time to set the real time. It tells me that you actually care about this experience. So it told me that next time I start the game, I should just set it to my favorite time instead of um, what time it actually is. So maybe I'll set it to 4.20 or something like that. <laughs> oh, new content. New, new content. New, new content. Oh, oh good. You notice my sign. It was a pretty big yes, sign. I have something very exciting Ooh. to show you. Yes. Yes. I would hop up and down. I'm hitting the space bar, but I can't because I'm not in the jumping zone. Okay, let's go. Let's go. What's up? What's up, buddy? Show me what's new. What's in that door? I'm gonna go in that door. Oh. Oh, yeah, I saw Mark release a video on this, and I wanted to watch it, but I'm like, I can't. Spoilers. I can't watch it. I must play the game myself first. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable okay. and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. I like the it original so far. Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take nope. it one <laughs> step. I don't like the dark. I don't like the dark. Stop which it. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the oh. first time ever. Music so dramatic. The Stanley Parable <gasps> two. The end is yes, never you the see, end. Isn't this okay. far superior to a measly re release yeah. with a few minor additions? Yeah. Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. Yeah. This is what fans have truly been asking for. What? Testing two printers at the same time. <laughs> okay. Here, let me let me be the receptionist. Oh yeah, typing typing on like a, a on a console is the worst. Congrats on actually having a PS5 though. <laughs> Investor showcase. Calling it the Stanley Ooh, Parable 2 taste, is taste just the so sequel. much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Give me Ultra Deluxe. What does it even mean? But the yeah. Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic Ooh. statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Yeah, that's good. Can I, I want to taste the sequel. You got it from eBay? Oh, did you get scalped? Oh no, I hope it wasn't too expensive. But I want to taste the sequel. And also, these signs are pretty great. As a graphic designer, I really appreciate this, th these nice, I like them. I like them. I appreciate them. No? What? What? What is this? Sticky notes! I can't read them because they're on the other side. This again. Another one. <laughs> Why is it? Why did they do that? Oh, let me in there. Oh, very nice, very nice. That door opened. Alright, I guess I guess we're going this way. Oh! Okay, okay. New content is out! New content part two is in! <laughs> Old and busted. New hotness. Boring sec sections of the chart. Cool red section of the chart. They're back. Two doors. More TSP, better TSP. Win win. Sequel, se sequential mind share. Paradigm shift, synergy, brick and mortar approach, envelope client centric marketing, the color red, leverage holistic value. <laughs> it was kind of expensive, but you're just happy to get it. You know, that's fair. You know, if if it makes you happy, then then it's worth it, you know? Two plants. Two brain sections. <laughs> oh. Slideshow 
of different oh slideshow of like different logos for it again as a graphic designer i love this but oh my gosh <laughs> you have like these great um these great logos here all like very very nicely put together except for maybe three i don't like three that much all the other ones are great but three three is kind of I think that's a reference to the beginner's guide because I think that's the same font as the beginner's guide, but it just doesn't work for Stanley Parable. Like that, like cursive font just doesn't work uh, for the Stanley Parable. Anyway, um, you got all these great logo designs and then Comic Sans. You Comic Sans, thanks for attending my meeting and a little clip art, little clip art image. You like four? Four is very nice. I think. I think ultimately one is the best one, but if if I had to pick one of the other ones, I think I'd go with four. I like five, but the whole like putting the number in the um, logo as like, how do I put this? As like clever as it is, I think a lot of times it goes over people's heads and they don't realize it. Um, So people might just be like, why is there two red lines, you know, or why is there an 11, you know, people might get kind of confused by that. And that's an issue. I think, I think my, my, the version of that though, that I'm really impressed by is the Resident Evil 7. And both, they have Resident Evil and Biohazard both have sevens in them. Resident Evil having it in Roman numerals and Biohazard having it in in the, the, the crap, I don't even know what you call that, but the numerical symbol. And that was really impressive, the fact that they managed to fit an, a seven in two different logos. That impressed me wildly. You have qualifications in graphic design? Yeah, I have a, I have, um, I have a, a degree. I have a degree in graphic design, so I'm I'm into this. I'm into this. Yeah, Stanley does pop out in four, and that is very nice. That and I like how it tucks away nicely into the two. I think the one thing that kind of mm, you know what it's pretty well balanced, but it does feel a little right heavy. It does feel a little heavy on the right because. You're kind of balancing out the small the with the big two, and it's almost a little too heavy on the right. And that's the one thing that kind of keeps me from saying that's the best one. Um, but it is very nice. It's very nice. So I can't, I, I would say maybe balancing it out a little bit better would be the only thing that I'd complain about. You like three? You like three? <laughs> I don't like three. That's the only one I don't like. The Stanley Parable just doesn't work with cursive. It just doesn't work with cursive. <laughs> it's just not part of their brand. I don't think cursive works for their brand at all. <laughs> oh no, Sergeant. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, now there's two Stanleys. Can I open this door? This now, one? to be clear, oh. I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Okay, okay. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Eyes, two eyes, two ears, two nostrils, two arms, two legs. <laughs> Who took the red marker? Me. <laughs> I like how there's design pitch and then pitch design. And then number two chat. They're like really, really concerned on designing everything. Like making it look all pretty. But not on what the content's going to be. Ah. Oh. That one's kind of nice. The prequel? True is the sequel to the Stanley Parable is the prequel to the Stanley Parable is the sequel to the Stanley Parable is the prequel to the Stanley Parable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Two. Okay, this way to the show floor. 
that a hint maybe? Oh, maybe. New features. Let me get let me get in the seat. I want new content bus. I love new content bus. I I want I want to be a part of, or maybe oh, I'm on the red carpet. Take pictures of me. Pose. 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 Here we go. No, come on. Come on. Winky face. There we go. Winky face. <laughs> Man, that is, I don't want to walk that far. Something I love in this room that makes the game insanely hilarious. Oh! Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Oh. oh. It's like a convention hall. Plants! More plants! I love plants! Coffee! How dare you spill the coffee? I have coffee right here. I will not spill it. I am going to drink it. Ah, good. Okay, so... Oh, there's a lot here. Oh my goodness, there is a lot here. Reassurance bucket. Ooh, merch! Let me, let me look at the merch. I saw the new content. I want that shirt. I want the I saw the new content shirt. This t-shirt is the best new feature. <laughs> Office decoration, Stanley Parable, reassurance bucket. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Um. Hear your name in the game. Uh. Is it gonna, is it? Is it gonna... Is it gonna dox me? Is it gonna dox me? Um, I might have to mute the game. Two, just to make sure myself, it doesn't dox me. What do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious I think it, if anything, it would just say, like... ...individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? If anything, I mean, it would probably just say like the name of whatever my account is, but I'm still I'm still not okay with that. Don't worry, it doesn't say your name. Okay, cuz I figured it would like scan my uh it would like look on my uh account. Like cuz some games will do that. Um, I think Doki Doki Literature Club actually did that, unless you were streaming. If you were streaming, then it would say, oh, are you streaming this right now? But if you weren't streaming, it would say the name of, like, your user account. I really appreciated that, because I was like, that way people don't get doxxed, because that would be awful. <laughs> Road to the perfect button. Too big? I like that too small. It's so small. Just right. A button that says the name of the player playing the game. Um. Jim. <laughs> Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name of Jim. <laughs> but of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here. Let's have you role play as Jim oh. to really simulate okay. the full experience of I this like feature. Acting. Just play along. <clears throat> I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, <sighs> forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. I am Jim. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see that, what a thrill, I, what a I rush. Felt that. that was you. I felt that. That was the good. Described you. Do it again. Do it again. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Mm. I am Jim. Jim. Ooh. 
It hits even harder the second time. If this yes. were the only this new feature good. in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still oh, be yeah. worth the money. Yes. Mm. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all oh, of this personal that, validation. Yes, I, I love it. Oh, Whoa there, cowboy. Oh. Sometimes a person can be too much You're right, gym. you're right, you're right. I'm, I'm, I'm too I'm putting gym. the gym button away. Otherwise, oh. soon you'll start to lose all sense of who you actually are. Wait, who am I? I am Jim. Wait. Wait, what? I need the... Wait, I forgot. Who am I? I need the button. I need the button back. I don't remember who I am. I need the button to tell me who I am. Okay. Okay, wait. Okay, guys, you need to remind me who am I? Who am I? Who am I? I don't, I don't remember who I am. I need help. I don't... Am I... Who am I? I don't know who I am. TK? TK. 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 That, that feels right. That feels good. TK. TK. Yeah. TK. That's right. I am TK. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was scary. That was scary. I lost all sense of who I was for a second there. Uh, but now that I'm TK again, um, Sergeant, you said Doki Doki emotionally destroyed you? Yeah, it destroyed me too. It was also like the first thing on my channel that got pretty big. Like I had a real influx in players around the time that I played Doki Doki Literature Club. It's one of my favorite playthroughs I ever did. It's a really good game and it was a lot of fun to explore. Okay, okay. So TK. TK is leaving this room now. You can't go too deep into gym. <laughs> I was I was really in character, okay? I suppose I could allow only people huh? named Jim to play the Stanley Parable. You too. could. That would actually save me the work of finishing this. Feature. That's true. Okay, I feel like that's a secret, so I'm gonna go I wanna go to the reassurance bucket now. I feel like reassurance bucket is where I need to be right now. I, after almost losing my entire sense of self, I need the reassurance bucket. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in Wait. those who played it. Wait, well, where? Where? I'm happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. Uh, it's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Where is it? You see, Stanley, any time you're it. holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. <gasps> there the it is. Hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. I need it. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace oh. of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. Oh, bucket. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me I love than the actually bucket. redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the oh, ass yeah, that would sure. be? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. I love it. Come on, give it a try. <gasps> I can pick up the reassurance bucket, but first, it's, it, it got bad that you had to get a mod for the a mod for the game so you could save all the girls. I've heard of that. I never played the mod, but I did hear of that mod, and I totally understand the need for it. The the bucket. I love the bucket. I oh, okay. Okay, I'm really excited about the bucket. Give me, give me a second. I need to. Okay, I need to. Oh, you get to just get a drink of coffee. All right. Okay. Bucket time. <laughs> oh. oh, bucket. Good bucket. Can you feel it? I do. The glow of comfort, yes. even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. Yes. Oh. And in fact. Can I say that I do believe the I bucket needed lends this you an air of when playing Doki Doki, Doki well. Literature Club. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest ah. bit more attractive as a person. Oh, are you hitting it on me, the narrator? The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? Oh. All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. I take it back. I don't want that t-shirt. I want reassurance bucket merch. 
They need to sell Reassurance Bucket merch. I will buy it. I will buy it, and then I will carry it with me, and whenever someone's like, why do you have a bucket? I'll be like, this is my Reassurance Bucket, and they'll be like, uh, what? Like, I need this. I need this for comfort. And they'll be like, uh. <laughs> oh, stool. I want to sit on it and spin. I'm going to sit and go, wee! The bucket is too irresistible. It's Does lovely. anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? No. That really should be an it award should. if it isn't already. The button that says Jim. I didn't realize it said that now. <laughs> um, I definitely... This kind of makes me think of the companion cube in, um, in Portal. Because people just got so attached to a random cube. Not me! I killed it mercilessly. I had no problem throwing that thing in the incinerator. I don't know why. Me! Me! I get attached, emotionally attached to everything. But for some reason, I didn't feel the need to get emotionally attached to the companion cube. I don't know. I just didn't... I don't know. Hmm. Office decorations. Infinite hole? What? I'm gonna need the bucket for them. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. Oh, I right. think that in the new version, the office Plant. could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But Ooh. I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? The bucket has more to tell. Oh, <gasps> bucket, bucket. Hey, Steel, good to see you. It has been a hot minute. I'm just playing the Stanley Parable and I'm, I'm emotionally attached to this bucket now. You have no idea. Emotionally attached. Also, get better someday. I like that. Let's go with the get better someday balloons. Oh. Can I... Oh! Oh! I actually get to pick? Get well someday? Happy 12th birthday, Stepneys. The bucket is love. The bucket is life. You're right, Chronic. You won't spoil anything? Good, good, good. I have to go with Get Well Someday. I mean, look at it. It's got a cute little heart on it. I love it. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you <laughs> knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy Aww. 12th birthday, step niece it is. Damn it. Though, honestly, that's a very true thing. I'll do that all the time where I'll ask someone, should I do this or this? And they'll say... I'll, do, I'll say, do I want this or that? And they'll say, you should do this. And I'll be like, nah, I want that. And they're like, why did you ask me? I'm like, I needed you to tell me. So if I was disappointed, then I'd know I wanted the other one. I just, you know, you know? Oh, 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 the balloons are here. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with- You should no. have. No, I've made my no. decision. We're moving on. No, 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 no. Come now. You've already made your choice. No. It's true that you chose badly. Hey! So we all have to move on from our mistakes. <laughs> Should I go A or B? Go B. I think I'm going to go C. <laughs> That's also great, too. I think I have done that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, come on, get well someday. Oh, I want to get well someday. Oh, this opened up. Oh, okay, okay, so that just opens up to more things. Okay. That's new. Wait, okay, wait, what's the button that says, okay, no. Infinite holes that way. What is, oh. Consistent quality with just the right amount of change. New features, new content, new ideas. The new updated ray traced more of the same, but in a good way to sequel to. <laughs> is this war sesh not liking choices? <laughs> you right. The baby is a girl grown up. Bankruptcy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Red is the new orange. A whole new office. That carpet 
is atrocious. I could not work in an environment where that was the carpet. I would look down and I'd go, bleh, bleh, ugh. I think it'll be this year that players will get the go outside achievement. Yeah, actually, I need to check that. I need to check the original game. I think I might be, I might be able to get that one. I don't remember. Mm. Ah, take a sip of coffee. Okay. So where's this go? Epilogue? I, you know, what? I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I, I feel like that's something I need to do another time. Let's go back here. Collectibles. Is that Stanley? Is that Stanley? Why does he look so sad? Poor Stanley. You need the reassurance bucket. I'll give it to you, but only for a moment. You better give it back to me. I need it. Okay. Good. I wasn't going to give it to you anyway. Jump circle. Ah, oh, where's the jump circle? I need the jump circle again. Jump circle's over there. Oh, jump circle's back this map free achievement where q is a free achievement where is q q q q is oh i get a free achievement oh my goodness button this is the name of the player that was playing the game merch setting settings world champion wait i didn't see that the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. My favorite thing. No one can have the bucket. The bucket is our precious. <laughs> Office decorations. Epilogue. Oh yeah, that's the epilogue. Collectibles. Oh, that's a whole huge thing back there. Wow. Infinite hole. Oh. So, oh, over there. And then exit. Okay, we don't want to go to the exit yet. Where is the exit? Okay, the exit is back there. So we want to check out everything else first. Let me check out this uh, settings thing. <laughs> he is very condescending uh, towards devs that just push out content for content's sake. And I love that. That's good. Where's... It said something about, like, settings world champion or something like that. I don't see anything. Let me check that again. I want- I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to miss a thing. Yeah, it says right there, right next to the... Right here. Here? Hmm, it says it's right next to... Maybe it's up there? I don't know. I guess, I guess I'm wrong there. Okay, let's get our free achievement. I want it. Free, new and easy achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. It just works. It works. It just works. Free achievement. Get yours right now. Pull the lever. Receive your new achievement. No more steps. It just works. Get yours right now. The Saints Champion achievement yet? No, no, no. Because it said Saints Champion and I couldn't find it. Now, here's something special. Oh. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Yeah. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. Oh. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. I need it's it. It's as simple as that. I need it. Give me the validation. Okay, perhaps oh. I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. <gasps> right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you. <laughs> And I promise it will happen. <laughs> I wanted the achievement. How could you do this to me? How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen Leave yet? Leave me alone. It's a... Settings World Champion. What do I have to do to get Saiyan's world champion? What 
What do I have to do to get settings world champion? Give me, give me just a second. I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> Oh, dang, that's a long... To get the settings world champion, you'll need to go through... Oh, whoop. Each of the sliders point by point in the settings menu. This means not simply holding down the control stick as it will start to skip the numbers. So use the D-pad instead. Show subtitles. Oh my goodness. So you have to just do everything. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, let's do it. Okay, gotta remember 72. Whee! Okay, go back to 72. Uh, five. Five. Basically apply the settings in every single possible configuration. On and off, on and off, on and off. All of the languages. Oh, go back to English. Show subtitles. We'll keep a medium. Go slow, so you need to go through all the number. Okay. Okay. I feel like this is gonna take some time. So how are you guys today? As I go through this, what do what you guys wanna talk about? Oh my gosh, this is gonna take some time. I'm gonna just like drop it at each number. Oh my gosh, Steel, don't laugh at me. That's so rude. Do I have to, maybe I have to do that with this too. Okay. 51, 52, oh my gosh. This is not stream friendly. This is so boring. I'm so sorry, everybody. Anyone joining in at this point is gonna be like, wow, what is she doing? This is so stupid. You spent most of your day playing your wrestling game? Uh, just got a warm rainstorm. Internet went out for an hour. Oh no, I hate when the internet goes out. There's just, what's the point of living? When the internet goes out, what is the point of living? <laughs> All meaning just gets sucked out of life. I hate this one. This one just keeps jumping. Okay, I think I got all of them though. Okay, and then this one I gotta do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Any new games you think of playing? I've been wanting to play, um, oh, I already did that. I've been wanting to play, uh, Life is Strange True Colors, because I really liked, um, I really liked the uh, the first game, and um, I really like the concept. Oh my gosh, how do I get one here? Okay, I like the concept of True Colors because it really reminds me of of the Kakuro, like the Kakuro powers that I have. So it it just seems like it'll be very relatable, and I really want to play it. Um, but I haven't gotten it yet because I'm poor. <laughs> I'm poor. <laughs> but that would be a nice one to play. You will like Life is Strange True Colors who played it. The internet going out never a problem because all the DVD and VH is... Oh my gosh. I have... I guess... I mean, I have a lot of like videos and games and stuff I could play when the internet's out. But I still get real depressed when the internet's out. I'm poor relatable. <laughs> Thank you. I 
I was wanting to, uh, um, this is the first life is strange emotionally just showed me too much. Oh yeah, no, I understand you. It, I don't want to spoil it, but there's something that happens with the character Kate that I had to stop the game, walk away and just sob for like a half hour before I could get back into the game. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. It was too much for me. So yeah, I, I completely understand. I also, I also heard, I haven't played it, but I've heard Beyond the Storm or whatever it's called is really good. So I need to check that out sometime. Oh yeah, you, you Ben Chronic just says that. Oh my gosh. I hate this one. This one's the worst. I don't even remember. I think this was set to 80. Was this set to 80? Do you guys remember? I don't even remember. I hit th I missed 35. Oh my gosh. Oh, the also a brawl? That does look good. I just, I'm not really into fighting games, so I'm not super into it. But I've heard it's really good, and it's like an actual, like, despite being a bunch of cartoon characters from Nickelodeon, you know, you think it would just kind of be like a cash grab for licensing. Um, I heard it's actually really good. Um, and yeah, you can play XJ9, which is really cool. Um, also, you can play as uh, Aang and Korra, which makes me happy because Avatar is my favorite TV show ever. Ever. I love it so much. It's just great. Oh, yeah. I do. I wish I could play Persona 5 on stream. That seems like it would be a good one to play on stream, too. I mean... Like, we did find out we can play it. It's just we can't show the ending. And what's the point of playing a game for an audience where you then have to be like, well, sorry, I got to the ending. I'm going to just boop, turn it off. Um, Steel, I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure how it is, but you can get in trouble for like, when it first came out, you could only play, like, the first castle or something like that before you could get, like, copyright strike for some reason. Um, but now it's, like, you can play to the end, but you can't show the ending. So you have to, like, stop streaming by the end, which is just... That's stupid. I don't like that. I understand they're trying to make it so you're not spoiling people, but, like, if people are watching Let's Plays, then... They're probably not going to want to play the game anyway. Or they want to see the game to the end before they buy it. Like, some people are like that. And I don't blame them. Some people want to see the entire game played out. See if they like it. And then play it themselves. Like, even if they know the game and the story and the spoilers. They still are like, oh, I saw so-and-so play this. And I really liked it. So I'm going to buy the game now. I don't know. Honestly... I know a lot of people have problems with like let's plays and stuff and think that they're taking away money from the developers but i think that's not true i think let's plays are the modern version of demos like not many people make demos anymore but let's plays allow people to experience the game um briefly at least or partially not briefly partially and then they can decide if they want to buy the game themselves because they're like, oh, it looks fun. I want to try this out myself. So I think Let's Plays actually increase profit. I know people might disagree with me there, but I think Let's Plays increase profit. I don't think they're thievery. Oh, I'm sorry. I got, I, I, I was blabbing so much. Let me go back. You can get Life is Strange Remastered Collection for $40. Original game remastered and Before the Storm. Oh yeah, I did see that. Again, poor, but... Overseas games are weird with copyright. Yeah. Yeah, I could just show my reaction to the ending, but I, I still think that people would hate that. You're gonna main Danny Phantom in the game? Nice. I love Danny Phantom. 
It takes a hundred hours to complete person. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, you hundred percented Witcher three, Dead Space one and three, Frostpunk and Ender Rose because of streams. That's fair. Didn't know where last plays were getting a bad rap. Yeah, I think I think it's less like what how do I say this? I think it's less like the audience saying that let's plays are bad. I think it's more developers claiming that they're bad, that they're like stealing the game from people. Because they think that people are going to just watch it and not play it themselves. But watching and playing is a completely different experience. So of course there's going to be people who watch and there are people who play. And there are going to be people who wouldn't have watched before. But did and or wouldn't have played before. But because they watched someone play, they decided to play it. You know, I, 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 think, I think they're a good thing. Oh yeah, I heard Persona 5 Royal has... Um, a lot of like quality of life stuff and added stuff that's really good. Some people like to watch and then enjoy to see other people's reaction. Yeah, so they play it first and then they watch someone else play. Yeah, I have heard people say it's like pirating the game and that's just, ah, uh, lies. Oh no, I've got another hundred slider! <laughs> Danny Phantom was great. You're only like 30 hours in Royal. I have Royal. I did end up buying it on my PS4 a while ago because I thought I was going to play it myself. But I, I just never got around to it. So maybe I will play it myself sometime. I do have a capture card, so I could stream it and then just, like, not show the ending. But I'd have to... I don't know. Maybe I'll do, like, a poll on my Discord to see if anyone's actually interested in that. Or if they if they can't see the ending, if they don't want to see it. Oh, my gosh! Arrow keys work! Guys, arrow keys work! Oh, my gosh! That'll make it so much easier. Oh, I was using my mouse. I could use arrow keys the whole time. Steel, don't give me that. Don't give me that, Steel. It's not pirating because the person who's playing bought the game. Yeah, the idea of that it being pirating is that the people watching are quote unquote pirating the game. Now I can look at the now I can look at the chat and do this at the same time. You love Persona 5 so much you've completed it like five times. That's insane. Oh, turn this off. Do you have to hit wait, do I have to hit these? Uh someone tell me if I have to reset settings or delete save data. Please tell me if I do or, or don't. Because I don't wanna I don't wanna delete my save data. You don't think so? Good. Because that would be cruel. Yeah, I'm not going to delete my save data. I would just give up now. Here's a few of 100%. Gotcha. Yeah, go go check that out. I don't know if I've ever actually... Have I ever 100%? Okay, I've 100% in like really basic games. But I don't think I've ever 100% in like... This is the story of a man named... Stand. Of anything like intense, like The this Witcher the or Kingdom of Hearts or anything stand. like that. Only ones that have like a hundred percenting includes stand. like getting ten achievements on Steam or whatever. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Yeah, no, that's what I was saying, Barry. It, I agree a hundred percent. Like, watching and playing are completely different. So you're not actually getting the full experience by just watching someone. You 100% Death Stranding? How hard is that? It took so long? I imagine with how intense that game is. I've never played it, but I imagine getting 100% on that is probably hard. Yeah, all the trophies for Persona 5 Royal? That's insane. Because I know that game is intense.
your year goal is 100% a Lego game. I've never played a Lego game. I've heard they're good, though. And we're gonna take a little bit of time. Wait, oh, oh, oh I went past it. There you go. Wait, do I have to apply resolution each time? Cause that's just not fair. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes people just can't buy it, and so... Oh, I got Sending's World Champion! Yes! Yes! I did it! Wait. I got... Let me try and leave... Yes! Yes! I did Aha. it, guys! I can see you've gotten the Settings World Champion achievement. Well done. <gasps> you've experienced every setting. Traveled to all corners of the settings menu. There's nothing you haven't seen. So, uh, okay. just for you, in the Stanley Parable 2, I'm including an entirely new setting. Something called what? Bump Scosity. Excuse me? What exactly is Bump Scosity? <gasps> well, I haven't quite figured that part out yet. What is it? But Tell I me. just know that you'll be able to adjust it on some sort of slider. And that it'll be available from the settings menu. We'll sort the rest of the details out later. <gasps> I hope you're looking forward to trying out every level of bump yes. scarcity in the Stanley Parable 2. What is this? What is this? Where is it? Where is it? Bump scarcity. Oh, okay. So there's 0, 1, 12, 50, 76. 100 and a thousand that kind of ruins I was gonna set to 69, but <laughs> Congrats to the Bumpsocity Slider. I am gonna set it to you know what? I'm a big fan of 76. I'm gonna set it to 76. I really I really like that number. That's a good number Okay, oh man, I'm so happy. Oh Oh the jump circle. I gotta get the jump circle again. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back yes. for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh, wait. I you don't already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Oh. Hmm. Oh, well. Can you... I suppose it me... can just be a nice decorative no. piece, then. Give me... Give me more jumps. Give me more jumps. <sighs> Reassurance bucket. I need you. <sighs> Reassurance bucket. <sighs> <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know what? Let's go up here and see the epilogue. Here it is. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes! Yes, yes. It will go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. I mean, the end of the game. That's epilogue. You're gonna go to sleep now, Barry? Go, go right ahead. Go right ahead. You need your sleep. You and I, okay, Barry. You, me, right here, right now. Let's agree to this. We will wake up at a decent time tomorrow, right? No sleeping through the morning. Cause I'm holding myself accountable. So I need you to help hold me accountable too. <laughs> I'll hold you accountable if you hold me accountable. <laughs> no jumps left. Uh, so sad. We both agree. Okay, good, good, good. Actually, I just realized I don't have like a sad TK emoji. I need to make like a crying or sad TK emoji. Because I don't have any. Uh, let's go infinite hole. Because I think... Let me see what we have left. I think it's just the infinite hole. Um... And then the exit. Oh, and the collectibles. But the collectibles look really huge. So let's go to infinite hole first. <laughs> I know I'm not a morning person. Yeah, no more you going to sleep at 5 a.m. I understand. I've been trying to sleep, like, at midnight. And then wake up at 8. Time de Oh, this is too much. This is too much for my brain. <laughs> Time deeper. Oh my goodness. 
I think it's just gibberish, but it's still too much for me. Now this. This makes perfect sense to me. Rim. Depth. Infinite. Opening. Surrounding area. That, that makes sense to me. Whole entrance. Infinity. Oh no. Oh no. Infinite whole chart. Whole. Depth. Space. More whole. Infinity. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Science. More. Falling. Educational use only. It just keeps going. Oh, I can't read any of the text up there. That's too small. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's, it's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's Ooh. right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time. I'm gonna if you fall. Like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. I'm gonna fall. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, what? and we can continue onward. Oh, gee, okay. I was like, I don't. I need. I need a teleport button. Hmm. Now I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to. I the don't know. Top. I'm liking this. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later. Spectrum. This goes on infinitely, so I can just keep going. You know, I've got my reassurance bucket here. I'm pretty happy with the, insur the okay, reassurance Stanley, bucket. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. <gasps> you lied. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain, it is. It's an extremely deep hole. Okay. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. Yeah, it's it pretty is. Deep. Is it oh, infinite? Just a pinpoint now. Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. Um, From one perspective, um, the infinite is uh, merely philosophical in nature. Uh, it's more of a. Ah! Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the it's hole. It's not you infinite. Found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look. I think Yumug. the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. I am. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. Uh, oh, excuse me. You know... <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little I liked putting I think portals on the we ceiling need. and floor Why and then going just forever. Put so, you know. behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly... Infinite. I don't think you can if that say that. For you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole, and we can move on. Mm -hmm. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Mm -hmm. I like this new mug, and the reassurance bucket, and I we're we're pretty happy with this. Maybe just toss down some pizza rolls. I'd really like some pizza rolls. That'd be nice. Um, maybe some coffee that I can put in my new mug. I don't need these cigarettes. I'm gonna smoke. Do the hole again after the teleport? Okay, I will. I just want to see if he says anything more. I'm gonna give. I'll, I'll give it just a little bit of time, just to see if he says anything more. Um. Meeting at two p.m. Nope. And they were like, nope. I'm throwing that in there. I don't want that. Another meeting at two p.m. No one wanted to go to that meeting. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us building castles in the sky. Just the two of us, you and I. Every pause button is a Roman numeral two. Boom. Okay. Great. Ah. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. The teleport button works. You want to go again, Bucket? Is that a yes bucket? Are you- do you want to go again? You want to go again? Okay, let's go! Oh, for heaven. You see, <laughs> I was right. The problem is you. <laughs> the problem is that you like holes too much. <laughs> Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there, goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh, I reached the bottom oh. quicker this time. Did the hole yeah. seem even shorter to you It did. Time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than I, you did before. I did. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole. So not only did you lie to me. that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Everything down here is the same. Had enough? Yeah. I'm positively thrilled. Mm-hmm. I really do have so much more to show you yeah. and to talk about. And I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Bucket? Bucket? Hey, bucket. Bucket? Bucket. Do you want to go? You want to go again? You want to go again? You want to go again? Let's go! Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. Oh, wait, the bottom. If this starts to become a thing with... Wow. Whoa. Okay. It's becoming yeah. less infinite. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely no, deep. No, absolutely not. Even by the not. lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? No, Stanley, yeah. I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole. But don't land. you want me to go in it again? Yeah. Let's try something. You want me to go again? Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if yeah, it gets see, any shorter. Yeah, see, see, see. I'm smart. Oh, there it is. I, uh, the shame of my lie has come to haunt. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. <laughs> oh, who am I to judge? <laughs> you just do whatever it is you're here to do, and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. You know what? This is a nice hole. I, listen, full honesty, if I saw a room like this, I would immediately jump right into this hole and just be, like, content in it. Be like, yes. Yes, this is good. This is good stuff right here. I like being in this hole. Um. Hmm. The teleport the, button's um, not working. Teleport button not working? You sure? It well, would I mean, make a perfect kiddie pool. I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a yeah, just moment ago. Just fill it with ago. some water. It'd be real nice. Nope. Still nothing. Well, I suppose. Uh, I don't have any I more jumps. There's one thing I can do to fix this. Make it a jump I'm hole. Out. Goodbye, Stanley. Wait, no. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and no. now you'll get more time with it than you could ever Wait, have no. asked for. Wait, no. Just make it it's a jump a win circle. For everyone. Make it a jump you circle. You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. No. Take Please. care, Stanley. Please. I hope you and the whole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. Well, at least I have Bucket. So, Bucket, you want you want to play a game? What kind of game you want to? Bucket, do you hear that? Bucket. Uh, Bucket. Do you? What is that? Fuck it, we're going down. I repeat, we are going down. If you only didn't waste all the jumps, right? <laughs> you're right. All right, Bucket, we're going on an adventure. I hope you're ready for this. I'm ready. is great. It's it's just oh, it's making me so excited. Wait, what? Wait. What? <gasps> it's Stanley and he's got the bucket. He's got the bucket. Stanley. There he is. There's his cannon face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, my perception is very changed. What? I changed my reality. What'd that do? Oh! Oh! This perfect. Perfect. Just a horror movie right here. Puppy! 
Nice! You're awake. It no. seems you had sort of dozed off there. I wasn't done. Drifting away into I wasn't, I wasn't done. Get me back in the hole. Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. No. You don't want to miss a single moment. I want it so back. how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? I want back in the hole. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this Get hole. Get me back in the hole. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Toodle pip? Okay, let me back in the hole. Let me back. Let me back. Get back in. Yes? Get me back in. Get me back in. Uh. Ah. <sighs> Here we are. Go on. I was afraid it was going to take me back to the beginning, beginning. And I'll be like, I missed everything. Not everything. I missed one thing, but. Okay. Okay. That was awesome. I like the hole. The hole is very nice. So all that's left is the collectibles. But that hole was a good hole. I appreciate that hole. This bucket, good bucket. Good hole, good bucket. Bucket. What? What's over here? Oh, exit. Oh, oh, duh. I thought that was the exit, but I realize now it's blocked off. Hand yeah, is never the end. It's never the end. It's never the end. It's never. Can Can you find them? Can you find them? Oh, I do like finding collectibles. Oh, look at this oh, bridge. Collectibles. It's a nice bridge. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be what? no reward for collecting all of them. Oh. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number oh, go what up. Is this? You simply collect all of them and then you move oh. the hell on with your unremarkable life. Oh, that's super creepy. All of the all of them, there's just hands coming. Do you want to go in my bucket? Would you like to go in my bucket? Ah! There's six! Ah! Wait. Wait. Wait, but... Oh, it's an invisible wall. How dare you? What if I... No, he won't let me go anywhere. Oh, that sucks. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video no, game there's and then five they more. give you a big fancy reward for it. Oh. Absolutely it's tragic. Where's the other ones? Are there actually other ones? Can I collect other ones? I want to collect... Wait, what's this? Oh, this is the... Okay. Okay. I guess that's all for this area. I think I've done everything in this area. I guess we can go to the exit now. What? Whoa. What's down there? All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? That's kind of cool. I like that. You got Stanley. You got the, the, the hallway. You got the office. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, I won't go upstairs. You're going to go? You're falling asleep because I'm so awesome? <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works, but th thank you. Uh, go to bed. Go to bed. Rest up. Rest up, Sergeant. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Mm -hmm. Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, see. but I can feel it in my soul. 
It's going to work. There's this definitely a good game in there somewhere. Yes. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange huh? these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that sounds cool. Okay. Will Are I actually ready? be able to get collectibles? Here it I want is. collectibles. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. <gasps> uh. Um, um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, <gasps> the yes. QR code of the yes, merch? This is oh, much I better. It. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. Uh. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I did not scan I the QR code. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original huh? Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. This feels oh. awesome. With respect, it seems you with the website. care nice. for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Wait. I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous <laughs> title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. <laughs> Go ahead. Take a look. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. There's a funny video on the site. Oh. Nice. I'll have to go I'll have to check it out after stream. I'm loving this title screen. It's all red now. It's all red now. Should we should we hop in? Oh, we definitely should. Let's do it. It's the Stanley Parable 2. Do it. <laughs> Do it. This is the story of a man named Stanley. This is Stanley oh, worked for a company. It's not exactly the same. I was just about to say it's probably exactly the same, but the balloons are here. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. He was happy. Sounds like a fun job. And then job. one day, something very You know, if you get paid happened. for doing that, then... Oh, it's something that would forever to... change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order oh, no. had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed the up balloons. to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Oh, no. But as he came to his he wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. Okay, so the balloons are here. I like that this balloon is just... You know, sometimes balloons do that. They don't... They, they, they go too far up. They go too far up? Yeah, I like that. All of his co-workers were gone. But what you know, everybody's mean? having a happy 12th Stanley birthday decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That's a very oddly specific balloon. Oh, look, this balloon's doing his job. See, this is, this is one of my co-workers. I knew they were here. Good balloon. Wait, this is here now. That wasn't here before. Hmm. 
Stanley felt the bucket calling to him, what? <gasps> begging him to pick bucket. it up. Where? Why was he not Where's doing the it? <gasps> There's the bucket. I mean, I'm so sorry, Stanley bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket. I'm so sorry, bucket. They all got turned into balloons. I found the bucket. I love the bucket. Oh, the new content thing isn't here. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly yes. to his chest and Good entered bucket. the door on his left. Good bucket. Bucket, what do I do? Aw, oh, thank you, Sergeant. You the best, too. <laughs> I'll see you. Okay, bye. Alright, Bucket. What do I do? Do I follow his instructions? Or do I rebel? Yes, Bucket? Is it... Yeah? Yeah, I agree. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, yes. telling him that the employee lounge that was, was simply the place. Exactly to be. what the bucket told me. And here it was. He knew. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Yes. Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. The bucket is so insightful. Thank you, bucket. This is so worth it. We got the nice plant here. Some cold drinks. You want a cold drink bucket? What? Truly, being here with the bucket was a yes. grand adventure. Stanley reflected on all they'd been through yeah. together. First, walking through the door on the right. Mm -hmm. Then walking to the lounge. Yep. Then arriving at the lounge. It was what a thrilling nice. journey the bucket had inspired. It was so nice. What if I just got a whole bunch of drinks and then poured it into the bucket and drank out of the bucket? Perhaps this was where the bucket felt most truly at home. Yeah. Here in the employee lounge. Perhaps it's the only place a bucket can even feel at home. Aw, I'm so happy for you, bucket. Do you want to sit on one of the chairs? I'll, I can put you on one of the chairs if you want. Stanley decided to just give the bucket absolutely as much time as it needed to be in the lounge. Absolutely. Clearly, the bucket and the employee lounge shared a special connection. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Maybe, oh, what if I filled it with coffee? If I filled the bucket with coffee, I would be so happy. Speaking of, coffee time! Ah, nice. Is this, is that all? Is that all for this room? Let's go back. No, it won't let me go back. Okay, I think that's all. I think that's all that we get. So we should probably move on. But finally, the bucket was done being in the lounge. Good bucket. And they took the first open door on their left to get back to business. The bucket continues to call me. No, said the bucket. Yep. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. Yes, the bucket. The cargo me lift. Now. Yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Yes. Good bucket, good bucket. I like your ideas. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. <gasps> okay, I will do it, Stanley bucket. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. No, of course But Stanley chose not talk. to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him. I jumped down to the catwalk before. And he did whatever the bucket asked. But the bucket, I'm doing what the bucket's telling me this time. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. That's not dark. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Of course. Oh, here you go. There's the dark room. <gasps> now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Yes, pick bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. <gasps> bucket. I'm so happy you feel this way. Bucket and I are going home. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Huh? Once upon That's a time, sad. I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use I a could. friend. I could. Then, I was. I very could. distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Yes, it could. It absolutely could. Oh, where's my bucket? Bucket, bucket. 
Oh, Bucket, there you are. Yes, of course I'll take you to work with me. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Oh, no, Whatever it Stanley is hearing the Bucket say to him is just in his head. Ah, uh, no. The Bucket truly speaks to me. Oh, I will take you back home with me. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing <laughs> over an inanimate <laughs> metal object? It's a bucket. I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can it's convince an abstract him. Bucket. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Bucket, I'll be right with you. Let me look around a little bit, see if there's any more buckets. I want to see the bucket decor. I love the bucket decor. That's not my time. I set my time. Press L to go back to work. Okay, let's go to work, Bucket. Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Yeah? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. Mm. All it would ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't believe you. It doesn't do no. anything else. Nope, it's my friend. Don't listen to the loud man. Yeah. Yeah, let's go home. You see, Maroon, he's not listening. So nice. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me, he trusted and listened to. No, now bucket's all better. all he cares about is his awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. I love this bucket. This bucket is precious to me. Press G to ignore anyone in your life except for me. Yes, bucket. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. No, I From don't. From now on, he's just going All to I cling to this bucket. bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny oh, bucket. I this bucket. Mm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. It is very shiny. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Yep, let's go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite oh, look you like your TV? average hardware Here. store bucket. It's just a little more... <laughs> very good show. What am I trying to say? Sturdier, more capable of transporting liquid. It's a good bucket. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from <laughs> one good room show. to that's, another. That's funny, that's funny. Oh, wow, can you believe that happened? Oh, my goodness. To relieve the same day with me over and over. Yes. Oh, my God, bucket? what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I bucket. feel some I'm need in, to point I'm out the ways in, the in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Because it is so much more than a regular bucket. To go, go to home to work to home to work to home to work. Oh no. I'm I'm having feelings for the bucket. No, 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 no. What's going on? Yes. Why do I want to be with the bucket? The bucket Hear is what the love. bucket has to say. The do anything it love. asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, yes, perhaps bucket. if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. No. The bucket could tell me what to do in this No, don't you take situation. bucket from me. Don't you dare take bucket from me. Bucket, you No. Give me the bucket. No. Give it to me. No. Give me the bucket, Stanley. No. I need no. it. Give it to me now. <gasps> Give it or I'll... <sighs> Close my eyes. Close my eyes. Close my eyes. Back to work, Stanley. Okay. 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 Wait, Bucket? 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 Bucket! No, Bucket. Where is my Bucket? I can't find my Bucket. I must find my Bucket. Where's my bucket? All of his co-workers were gone. Bucket? What could it mean? Bucket? Stanley bucket. decided to go to the meeting room. Stanley lifted the bucket into <sighs> his arms, and a wave oh, of bucket. comfort rushed I thought I lost him. you. I thought I lost you, Bucket. Okay. Okay, I have my bucket. I'm safe to go now. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest yes, good and entered the door on his left. Go back to the phone room? Okay. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him yes. that the employee lounge was simply the place The bucket to is be. life. 
And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was it? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. A cargo lift. Yeah, good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift oh, there's all the a way to the top. There's, there's something there's a collectible. there I need you to do. How Stanley do I get there? question why or how this bucket How do I get to the collectible? To it should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. There's like, there's like a, a, a hole there, like a big vent? Where's there a vent I can get into? In here, huh. said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Yes. Stanley once yes, again obeyed blindly. Yes, bucket. Good bucket. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Don't pick answer the phone. Pick up the phone and it will <gasps> take us back home no. where we can go about life together. No bucket. Not today. <laughs> oh, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. It's Buckets not? can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. No. A talking bucket. No, uh, I don't. Can't you see? Oh, oh goodness. I, what? I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did no, I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? No, I... Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it. But there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait, yes, there is. Um, it's sitting right here. Oh. Let's take a look. What oh. is comedic timing? Hey, hey. What is comedic timing? <laughs> How does it work? How long should it last? Okay, sit back. How can relax. it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly... Wait. Can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Wait, really? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Oh. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. Wait, really? To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, -E. provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times <laughs> at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, <laughs> and then spell out your name a second time. -A With these steps complete, -E. it's time to begin the humor. Okay, Speak humor the time. entire joke in no more than 18 seconds oh, no. and no less than 13 and a half. Pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. Uh. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. <laughs> Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. How was that, guys? Did you good? good? This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it. it's really time well. to hand out surveys. Oh, okay. Collecting hard data uh, from your I audience need to make sure on I how the rapt they were then. throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long okay. and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention okay. and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. Okay. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. <laughs> Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. Yeah. After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight uh. the 12-legged invaders who threaten our uh. very existence and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets the and ones mandibles, the right got some, all of us must be nice prepared legs. to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us oh, no. and their children after them. Oh, no. Godspeed and may Earth reign supreme. Uh, no. No, I don't like this. I don't like this. I, 
I'm done with the funny. Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. Okay. I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to oh, nail the delivery. There's a fence you'll now. be in and the stitches. Gone. A talking bucket, you'll say. How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now? Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Uh, okay. All right, I guess we're heading back. Wait. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. That's right. There's the hallway here, and then... Two doors. Gotcha. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. What if I listen to him this time? Now let's 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 see. Let's. Oh. What? What? Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. What's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. <laughs> no. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve <gasps> the title of King of no, Comedy. I'm narrator. nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke telling world. No, I'll go back again. I think, I no. think I need to don't go play back again. and rewatch that instructional video again. No, don't. Yes, surely that will help me improve my No, don't. Here we go. Oh. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Okay, go left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this is all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. <laughs> the joke is completely down and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. Hey. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. It's, I'm um... going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Uh, I didn't meet... Stanley, you oh, no. love the bucket so much, it's like you... <clears throat> it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Oh. Yes. Let, well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? No. It, no. Is it the delivery? No. Pale with shame. Pale with shame? Pale... What's another word to describe a bucket? <laughs> Stanley, this bucket is so metal. I think I saw it playing guitar. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. No, no. just Getting stop. Away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I just, I'm no good at these jokes. <laughs> I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional videos. Let's see. Let's see. No, no, no more. No more. No more, get me out of this. Okay, good. Oh, the ending hurts so much. The original one without the bucket. Yeah, it does. All I remember that one. All were gone. What, what happens if I go forward without Stanley the bucket? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What if I don't go for the bucket? What if I just keep going? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. Does and it left. just play 
as normal? This was not the correct way yeah. to the meeting room. Yeah, the Stan bucket is what brings well. the new content. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. This is the same but as... eager to get back to business, Stanley took okay. the first Okay, well, I already messed it up, so left. let's get a new ending. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. <laughs> but Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Yes, of course. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, 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 uh um, from here, it's, um, left. Can I go elsewhere? Can I, can I, no, I have to go. I have to go left. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. No, it's to the right. My I mistake. forgot this one. I okay. No, oh. no, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? Uh, what was I thinking? It's narrator? clearly. Oh dear! Would you hold on for a minute, please? Narrator. Now let's see. We went down right, left, uh. down, left, right. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh. Okay. It doesn't look very inviting. Oh. No! 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 This isn't uh, right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Uh, close your eyes. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, don't look. Don't look. Just, don't look. Don't look anybody. To, um, don't. I. Oh, don't look. Who am I kidding? Uh, uh, it's all rubbish uh. now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. Okay. This time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? hmm? Okay. From the top. All of his co Okay, were well gone. that was quick. What could it mean? Stanley decided Wait. to go to the meeting. Bucket! Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Where's my bucket? Where's the balloons? Did I reset everything? Oh no. Let me new content. Give me back to the new content. Give me back to Stanley too. What do I do? When Stanley? Wait, wait, wait. What? Uh? No, I'm, no. I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, oh. completely fresh. Everything should be. Oh, did something change? I got locked into another Stanley, ending. That's why. Did you I thought change that was anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the uh, story somewhere? No. Or, uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Yeah, I didn't do anything. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Yeah. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. I like this one. This one looks nice. Oh. Okay, let's find the story. Where's the story? Hello? Um. Plant. Follow the plant. I like plants. Um, plant? Oh, wait. This is different. Oh, but... Oh, no. I'll say oh. it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Plant? Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? We might have to. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting What's over that? and over again. Is that like a but it's got to be better than garlic this. dipping sauce? Okay, let's give from, it a shot. Why not? From Papa John's? I love their garlic dipping sauce. Okay, the balloons are gone, All which means we're still, gone. We'll, we're still in this mean? ending. Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, no. Okay, yep, it's, it's worse. worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Okay, let's Why go. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? I guess, let's do it. Okay, hello? 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 Aha! Ah. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Plant. Here it comes. Yay. No, wait. What? Never mind. No. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Oh no. I remember now, this, this room. Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. <laughs> it's like, where is this, the story? is this? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? I think mm. so. Do you remember, Stan? Yeah. Well, do you know what? I'm trapped. Since I've There's completely no forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, I'm, I'm, how about this? I'm you going crazy. win! <gasps> I win! Congratulations! Yay! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so... Good job. Jump out the window. Jump out the window. Oh, it's no. our only freedom. No, I don't feel right about this at window. all. We ah. both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Aww. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. How about this window? Okay. I'm cut getting out. weirded right, out by whatever out, this place kick out is. The, uh, particle I don't board. care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Okay. Mmm. Hey, the Stanley Parable, uh, the Stanley Parable right. 2 Adventure Line. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Follow the line. Just follow the line. Follow How the simple line. is that? Follow, follow, follow the line. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. The to destiny. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story oh, of I no can't. destination oh. still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey oh. such that a destination oh. is inevitably conjured oh. into being oh. via the very manifestation oh. of the nature oh. of life itself? Oh, but, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Hang on. Oh. That got a bit weird oh. back there. Oh. Well, I'd like oh. to apologize. Oh. Not sure Watch where this. I was going with all that. Oh. You know what? Ooh. I think what we need right now is a bit of music uh, uh, to lighten mm. the mood. Uh. Ooh! Yeah! the music go back and look at that fern stanley this fern will be That's very, very good important fern. later in the story make sure you study it closely okay and remember it carefully we gotta, you won't want to miss anything i need to know all the details so i gotta i gotta count all the leaves all the leaves one two three four okay i'm not actually gonna count all the leaves wait oh. but we're back at the office uh, no no, no, line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story uh, is. Oh no, 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 not again! <laughs> You've done this to us, and after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, the fern. You. Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Oh, there's like a Restart. glitchy one right there. Oh. Oh, this one isn't the Stanley Parable Two Adventure Line. It's just the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. You know what, Stanley? Oh. I say, forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? You, I mean, Why can't right. we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay. Let's, let's see where this goes. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Uh. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Um. Um. Oh, okay. I, I was in a circle, but oh, that that brought us back. Okay, maybe I just got to circle a few times, and then I'll I'll, I'll get somewhere. All right, circle time. Deja vu. I just drifted in the corners. <laughs> Okay, yeah, here here we go. A deja vu. Oh the no, line's not back. you again. 
Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. But I wanna. It's fun to follow the adventure line. We. Oh, it's gone. I can't get up there. Ah, a choice. Ah. We get to make a decision. I do. From here, the story is in our control. Yes. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Okay. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think. Oh, here. no, please. Just walk in circles for a minute. Uh, okay. I'm going to go the so opposite way. So I know way. that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. Yep. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? Y and since yes. the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Well, what if I want to go left? Oh. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it outlines the entire me? thing. That's what this is. It's all one giant Wait, ending. Okay, adventure line. Ad and we're supposed adventure to restart the game. Fine line again. Eight Find times? confusion and schedule. That's really how oh, all no. this goes. It's all determined. Oh no. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? Forget. My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, oh, this start thing. Find the line wall. again. Well, who consulted me? Time to make up story here. Where the office has begun decide? to deteriorate. Why don't I get a say in all of this? No longer an really? office, simply a black space. Oh no. no it can't be. Find bookstore, get bored and leave. <laughs> I don't want the game to keep restarting. I don't want to have to forget what's going on. No! I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't give me out here. restart give me the out game. Here. I won't oh, give me. do it. I won't give me out do here. it. I won't do it. Don't give me. And the timer to stopped? Just get me out of here. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? Break the cycle! The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? Oh, no. Get me out of here. Give me, give me so, out of here. Give me, give me okay. out of here. Let me out. I guess now we just wait. Oh, no. You know, I suppose uh, in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure <sighs> if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. Mm -hmm. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... If you... <laughs> oh, we're back! Look, the balloons! The balloons! We, that was an ending! Okay. Okay. Um, I think I'll do one more bucket ending and then I'll be done. So, where should we go with the bucket? Gone. What could it mean? The bucket's here again. Stanley yeah. decided yes, to bucket. go to the meeting room. Bucket. Perhaps he had st the confusion okay. and the chaos all seemed to Aww. melt away as Stanley embraced we love the, the bucket. bucket. The parable timeline is so hard to follow. What uh well, what ending should we get? Maybe we should get the the normal ending with the bucket or uh, I might have to go now, actually. It's getting kind of late. I've been going for about two hours now. I'm... Mm, oh, we have the bucket. Let me let me take the bucket back to the office. Let's go back to the... No. I want to go here with the bucket. Let me take the bucket back. What about this? Oh, please. Ah. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Okay, is that it's... all that you think an achievement is worth? No, no. I tried no, this no, before no. and it didn't I work. I can't just so... give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door twenty times. No, I'm not doing that again. That's the kind of effort that I tried and it failed. It wouldn't let me see. This thing only takes like one input, and I couldn't click it multiple times. I tried and it wouldn't let me. Okay. No, I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here. Actually, um, I think that was a good stream. I am sorry to end on not new content, uh, but I will be back and I'll do more new content with this 
for sure, because I love this, and I am so excited to see more of this. Today was really exciting, though, getting that whole um, new, like, area with the name button and, and infinite hole. Those were great. Uh, but yeah, I wonder if there's any more of that, or if now it's just the, the regular game with the bucket. I feel like there might be more than than just the bucket. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here. I will be back tomorrow, same time, 8 p.m. Eastern, with The Witcher 3. I am pretty deep in the game, so if you've never seen The Witcher 3 before, then I'm sorry, probably shouldn't jump in in the middle, unless you just want to hang out with me. I totally understand that. I don't mind you hanging out with me. I like hanging out with you guys. Uh, but it'll be a pretty chill stream. I'll probably play some Gwent. Um, I, I tend I tend to be pretty chill when I play The Witcher 3. So it shouldn't be too crazy or anything. Um, but And then after that, the next day, I'll be back. I'm streaming three days in a row. Uh, but I'll be back with Resident Evil 7. Which I feel like we're pretty deep in that. Maybe... Every, I know how long the game is. I think maybe one or two more streams. Probably two. Just because I'm kind of getting through the game slowly and I feel like the next part's going to be kind of hard. So it might be about two more streams and I'll finish the game. Uh, but I'll be back with DLC. I'll probably do like a full stream of just DLC. And then I'll do... Um, and then I'll be back with Resident Evil 8. Uh, so I, I've got a whole timeline with that. So that will continue on with Resident Evil. I'll be doing Resident Evil stuff for a while. Um, but I think... Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I will go ahead and see you tomorrow if you're there. If you're not, that's okay. I totally understand. Good night to everyone who's going to bed. I'm probably going to stay up a little bit longer because, like I said, I've been trying to stay up till about midnight. Um, and then wake up at 8. And that's, that's my goal. I'm going to do it. I made a promise to Barry. Barry made a promise to me. We're going to do it. We're going to wake up at decent times. All right. Uh, but I guess let me go ahead you're going to get a little bit of lag, but I'm going to see if there's anyone I can raid. If there's anybody on that I can raid. And it's going to take me a second. Okay, so let's go to Twitch and see who's, who's streaming right now. If there's anyone I want to raid. Hmm... No, I don't really see any way I want to right, right now. So I'm going to go ahead and add, end the stream normally. Um, so uh, I do know n next week uh, Vera's going to be starting up again uh, with streaming. So if we end up streaming at the same time and she's still, she's still going after um, I'm done, I'm definitely going to raid her because Vera, I love Vera. And I want to give her all of my viewers. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream. Uh, so, on that note, remember to shine your light in every world. Bye!